Rivera had heard the stories about Nevada, tales of prosperity and opportunity. Eventually, he got sick of fighting California politics and moved to Reno in 1937. Just five months after he arrived in the biggest little city, he opened the first Harris Casino there. That business failed because of its location, but Bill Hara was not about to give up. In 1938, he opened his second bingo parlor. This one was nothing more than a shed, but Hara's style was starting to take shape. Hara had an expensive heating system installed so his customers would be comfortable, and he built a reputation of running fair and honest games. 1946 was a turning point in Harris' career. His first foray passed the bingo business into full-scale casinos. Hara purchased the Mint Club on North Virginia Street. Hara's Club opened in June of 1946, and the Hara's Empire was born. People who knew and worked with Bill Hara say he had an unrelenting eye for detail, and that's what set his business apart. His philosophy? If it doesn't impress, it doesn't work. Bill Hara spent most of his time on the casino floor, making sure his customers were taken care of. But his most important business decision was yet to come. Hara had his eye on the Gateway Club, a small gambling establishment on Lake Tahoe's South Shore. When the property went on the market, Hara snatched it up and renovated it with the Hara's Touch. And in 1955, when it reopened, it was a mega success. The question was, how would they get people there, especially in the cold winters? Hera came up with a novel idea. He initiated bus service between Lake Tahoe and the San Francisco Bay Area, making Tahoe a year-round resort. Hera eventually bought up another club, which gave him enough property to build the Harris Tahoe we know today. But it didn't stop there. Hera continued to build his image by attracting big-name entertainment to his clubs. The Northern Nevada Casino King was the first to welcome African-American entertainers like Bill Cosby to his property. But Bill Hara was more than a casino owner. He was a pioneer in the gaming industry. He recognized that the reputation of the industry was on the line in light of Senate hearings into organized crime. Hara didn't want federal intervention. So in 1955, he used his influence to help create the Nevada Gaming Control Board. That was followed in 1959 by the even stronger Gambling Commission. Bill also had some unique hobbies. He fell in love with the automobile at the age of eight when he learned how to drive. In 1946, he purchased and renovated his first classic car that would eventually become one of over 1,400 cars in the Harris automobile collection. Harris slowed down in his final years but he still spent plenty of time roaming the casino floor, making sure everything was perfect. In 1978, Hera died during surgery to repair an aortic aneurysm. He was 67 years old. Bill Hera left behind a legacy in customer service. He was once quoted as saying, treat people well and they will enjoy working at Hera's. In return, they will deliver superior service.